Hello and welcome to another Smurpee video and today we are looking at The Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1 Omnibus And first of all I've got to say that this is a nice OR homage to um, Spider-Man's first introduction Which was in Amazing Fantasy Which is pretty cool It's a very nice cover And in this issue um, he learns Prince. where he learnt about great responsibility where he failed to stop a bank robber and Uncle Ben was killed in his home by that same burglar this is very nice I'm very happy to finally have this and it's thanks to my wife that I have this she brought this for my birthday so thank you to my darling Karen for this I appreciate that and you embracing and supporting me as a complete geek and there are all the covers from all the issues, which is pretty damn cool. And this is what you get in it. Amazing Fantasy 15. So in total, that's 43 issues in here. That's quite a lot. And, you know, it's quite nice to have them all together. Um, I started reading these on Marvel Unlimited, which is pretty cool and, and a good app. But, you know... The first three omnibuses of Spider-Man are out and, well, I can resist. So let's open up the book and see what's actually inside. So behind a dust cover is this, quite straightforward. And inside you have this, which is quite cool. I'm not going to show you all. And it's pretty awesome, the creators. And it goes back to the 60s, which is a good era for comic reading as far as I'm concerned. I enjoy it. Inside you have the contents, which I actually like looking at. Where it shows what year the comic was released. Which is pretty awesome. And a whipping 1,043 pages. Which is pretty darn impressive. I like that you get what you would have in a comic. People write it in. Um, I'll be honest, I never read any of this. So it would be cool to see what people's thoughts were back then. Compared to, I guess, what we feel as comic fans as now. As you can see, the bind looks quite, um, quite strong, quite sturdy. I always find Marvel's quality when it comes to these things are, are pretty good. They really do give the Omnibus Collector... Um, something to treasure on their shelf uh, this is one of the front pages and you can see how how well it's been restored and this is what it's like on the inside you know it's quite nice to read it's big I don't know about you I like big writing uh, even though sometimes I read on my phone on the train and even the art back then is pretty cool at the back they got some other covers which is pretty uh, cool. You get um, a piece from Blake Bell talking to Steve Dico. I'm sure I didn't pronounce that correctly. Um, those hardcore fans, you can you can tell me off. I don't mind. <laughs> it's quite nice. If you like, I like reading extras, especially in omnibuses. That's why we probably buy omnibuses. So all in all, this is this is a cracking start. And if you're a big Spider-Man fan, you've probably got this. If you haven't got it, I would get it. I wouldn't wait. This is the second uh, round that it's come out. So, you know, it's popular. I think Volume 2 just sold like no tomorrow. Uh, on the first run, it became really hard to get. So I'm glad, you know, that you can get it now. If you can, get it quick. Don't mess around. Don't wait. For it to go down price, just grab it. It's worth every uh, Just a quick comparison. This is it next to the volume one of the Clone Saga. Let's put them side to side. And here it is next to the Clone Saga side by side. And it's a little bit smaller than this, but not that much smaller. So it's quite um, chunky. Let's bring in a smaller And here omnibus. it is next to the smaller X-Force Omnibus. Which is quite so cool. So just wrap it up. This volume one of Amazing Spider-Man. Omnibus, definitely worth getting it. Definitely worth it. I'm glad that I got it. So thank you for watching. Take care. Embrace the geekiness. And have a good night. Goodbye.